Here's my five biggest life regrets from college. What's up, I'm Zach. I went to college, and if I had to sum it up in a sentence, it was, it was, it was, it was fine. For me, college wasn't like the best time of my life. It wasn't this insanely life-altering experience that I couldn't get from anywhere else. It was fine. It was very expensive. It was okay. Solid like 6.5 out of 10. Quite frankly, I think it's a real shame that in our society, we don't encourage people not to go to college and that college is seen as this one size fits all prescription for success and happiness in life when it really isn't. My biggest life regret from college is being pressured to go in the first place. Look, I was a really good student in high school. I was such a good student that it made me depressed. I was like in the top 5% of my class at all an already pretty competitive high school. I had like a 4.3 GPA and my parents and all of my teachers and my counselors pressured me to go to college like whoa what do you want to do in college do you want to study medical do you want to go to Stanford do you want to go to Berkeley and the conversation of not going to college wasn't even on the table for me because otherwise I would be wasting my talents I even brought up the idea of not going to school to my parents and them being Asian they're like what else are you gonna do you're gonna work at McDonald's like your dad and I found myself in a really toxic environment where I had to go to college and that if I didn't go, I was a failure. But $30,000 for three years at a state school, that's a lot of freaking money. And personally, if I had taken that money from my parents and put it towards a business instead, I really do think that I would be a lot better off than I am today instead of going to college and getting a degree in communication and marketing. Yeah, it's kind of helpful for what I'm doing on this YouTube channel, but I use maybe 5% of what I learned in class actually making videos and running my businesses. And I'm a full-time YouTuber. If I had just used that time to make more videos and be better at making videos, like undoubtedly, I would be better off than I am today. College for me was a colossal waste of time and money. I regret not taking a gap year and just working and seeing what the quote unquote real world is like. In the education system, there's often this idea that everything inside the system is this nice cozy bubble. And once you get out and get a job in the real world, then everything is suddenly much harder, much more difficult, and people are gonna spit on your food and make fun of your shoes. But what I've found in the quote unquote real world is that it's way nicer in the real world than it is in academia. I think that if I had taken a gap year just to like work at a bike shop or something, that I would have never gone to college because I quite like making money, being independent, helping to run a business. It just makes a whole lot of sense to me rather than studying for a midterm on the Krebs cycle. If I had taken a gap year, I would have been able to start my main YouTube channel a lot earlier with a lot more effort and accelerate how good I am in making videos. And I probably just would not have gone to college in the first place. Because the real world, it's pretty dope here. I love doing things that are worthwhile in the world rather than just sitting at a desk and listening to an old guy talk at me for three hours about gap principles. I'm somebody that learns by doing, that learns by making mistakes and that learns by actually making something worthwhile. And a gap year would have taught me that way faster than being in the cozy little bubble of college. And if you're liking this video so far, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button. It helps out the channel a lot because according to my YouTube stats, 70% of you watching this video right now are not subscribed to the channel. So be sure to subscribe to watch more videos just like this one. I was depressed in college. Like seriously, I was diagnosed with depression in 2014, which was my first year of college. And then eventually I started taking medications, counseling, all of that good stuff. But I feel like if somebody had just told me to sleep more and sleep more consistently, that a lot of my depression issues would have been way less. In college, it's just kind of a badge of honor to see how little sleep you can get. And people like to brag about like, I only got two hours of sleep for the past week. 
and somehow that's a commendable thing to do. It's like, no, that is so terrible for your health. How are you not dead? My college experience wasn't that extreme. It was still bad, don't get me wrong. I would get about six hours of sleep a night. But six hours of sleep a night is the equivalent of being legally drunk and not being able to drive. Like, it's bad. <laughs> your brain doesn't work when you don't get a full night's sleep, especially when it accumulates over time. So if one of my doctors, one of my counselors had told me, or even asked me, how much sleep are you getting per night? That would have been extremely helpful for me and my mental health. <laughs> I also regret not socializing more in college because this is something that I really realized once I got out of college is that it's really hard to make friends once you're not in class together or seeing each other every week at a club. It's like, I am self-employed, I work by myself, I have no coworkers. <laughs> like, where am I going to meet people? And even then, it's like, when you have coworkers, it's extremely different than just being classmates with someone because it's like, I don't want to work out with you. You're the work guy. That's gross. In college, I made a small group of friends through a club, and I didn't really extend my friendships beyond that group of friends, and I'm not even in contact with any of them on a regular basis anymore, partially because of convenience or inconvenience rather because we're a nine hour drive away from each other now. But I have a core group of friends from high school that I'm still friends with to this day and I still see on a weekly basis to this day, 10 years after I graduated high school. And I wish I had socialized more so I could potentially have that experience with my college friends that I don't have except for my two study abroad pals, I love you guys. Related to that, I also regret playing way too much Hearthstone. It was a problem. I was playing for like four to eight, sometimes like 12 hours a day, just grinding the ladder and trying to be as good as possible. And I feel like I missed out on a lot of opportunities to socialize or to get another job or just to experience life because I dunked so much time in the Hearthstone. I spent so much time in Hearthstone that at the point that I quit, I quit when I was on top, I was top 100 in North America. I legitimately could have gone pro, but I hated the game so much at that point that it was just a sunk cost. It was like, well, I'm here. I hated getting to the top. I'm done, I'm out. And at that point, it was just wasted time that I could have spent playing music, making friends, and just enjoying life rather than sitting at my computer for hours and hours a day. What are your biggest regrets from high school or college? Let me know in the comments. If you liked this video, be sure to check out this video over here to see what my best college life decisions are.